And with February right around the corner, most high school basketball teams have about 13 games on their resume. Meanwhile, one set of schools is just now getting the opportunity to play, and they aren't taking this moment lightly. During this time of year at Hazelwood Central, the parking lots would normally be packed. The halls would be filled with kids, but ever since last March, they now sit hollow. It's weird. There's no kids. It's empty. That's because last summer, the Ferguson Florissant School District switched from in-person learning to virtual, deflating many hoop dreams for the Hawks. This school year, it, it hasn't been the same. It kind of sucks because my senior year. So. While the chances of adding some banners to these walls or some more plaques in these trophy cases seem slim, the team never gave up hope. I never thought that we weren't going to play. And that's a good thing because just a few weeks ago, the Ferguson Florissant School District gave the green light to resume sports. <laughs> meaning the gym that sat quiet for months is filled with life. And I'm not just talking about head coach Brandon Gilmore's shorts. They were excited. Their parents were excited. Everybody was excited. I was excited. With one problem behind them, the team now had to focus on their next obstacle, a lack of practice time and replacing five players who transferred during the pandemic. To me, it is what it is. It's business. The lone senior remaining, Ja Graham, knew this year would be tough. First game was an example as CBC defeated the Hawks by 40 points. But as Graham and Gilmore explained, the young Hawks aren't ducking any competition moving forward. Figuring out stuff on the fly, just we just compete. We just learning trying to compete. Happy we in the gym. We're gonna compete, play hard, and go from there. Now don't forget.